I bet every one of us can look back on life and think of a time when we've been wronged by someone or we've wronged someone regarding personal property. Maybe you let someone borrow something and they broke it or lost it or flat out never returned it. Maybe you borrowed a car and it got scratched or dented while it was in your care. Or perhaps you went on vacation and had a friend care for your pet only to get back and find out that your pet was missing. When things like that happen in life, there are times when no resolution between the two parties seems possible without either checking with what the law says or even being compelled to take the matter to a civil court. As we continue working through the book of Exodus, we see that chapter 22 is all about personal property and social responsibility. Two concepts that seem irrelevant in a culture where most of us don't own any oxen or sheep or pay a bride price. And some might even think, you know what, let's just skip this chapter. But Exodus chapter 22 verse 3 foreshadows a major theme throughout the Bible. Let's take a look. A thief who is caught must pay in full for everything he stole. If he cannot pay, he must be sold as a slave to pay for his theft. As people born full of sin, we are the thieves that Moses writes about in Exodus 22. Our sinful nature is to steal what isn't ours. Anything from fudging on our taxes, coming in late for work, or leaving work early to not working at all. Maybe for you it's spending outside of your ability to pay it back, or maybe you're the one getting soda from the soda machine when you told the cashier you just want water. Or perhaps the thought is this, you know, I'm not hurting anyone when I illegally download the music and movies that I love. Check it out. There's nothing on our own that we can do to make restitution for our sins. Without Jesus, our only option is to be sold as a slave to pay for our theft. But restitution is God's way to restore relationships that are broken and it's full repentance that brings us back to God and the possibility of restored relationships with those who we've wronged. So let me ask you, do you need to apologize? Do you have sins that need to come to the light of Christ? Is there someone in your past that needs restitution? If so, then consider if restitution is needed in some aspect of your life. To make restitution is to restore things to how they should be. Now we can never restore what we've stolen, we're not rich enough or powerful enough to make things right on our own. But Jesus, who is both divine and human, He can. Jesus came to pay for our debt, to restore what we've stolen, while only asking that we turn to Him, love Him, and steal no more.